Right now, police are trying to figure out who killed a Camp Pendleton Marine early this morning in the gas lamp. He and a friend were both stabbed after a fight broke out. 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky is live for us tonight in the gas lamp. And Jeff, we know a witness says that he's seen, he has seen things like this far too often. Yeah, you watch the entire thing uh, unfold right here uh, along Island, uh, right about 6th Avenue. Now, uh, that fight broke out right across the street there in front of that building. The Marine somehow managed to stumble his way uh, across the street, but collapsed right here uh, on this corner, even as people tried to save his life. I saw the fight break out. 10 News spoke with a witness who asked us to protect his identity. After all, the man who killed a Camp Pendleton Marine is still out there. The witness couldn't see what prompted a confrontation between the Marine and his friends and a second group. There was a little bit of yelling. You know, I think they were arguing over something. It did not take long to escalate. It looked like he had slugged him. You know, I thought he'd gotten slugged because, you know, I see quite a few fights downtown. Turns out it was much worse. He got cut pretty bad. The Marine had been slashed near the neck and died just across the street. A friend was stabbed as well twice. He stumbled off in the opposite direction and was found nearby on J Street. He's expected to survive. The attacker and his group ran off toward the convention center. We followed that path and came across a second area roped off by crime tape at a trolley stop. A police officer stood guard over an open trash bag, but detectives would not say if this scene is related to the stabbing. The witness says this is the second time he's seen a major crime happen in this spot. He's not going to get away. He may think he's going to get away, but don't look at him. Police say they do know the identity of the Marine and are notifying his family about what happened. It's kind of like a waste of, of, of a life for him to actually die in the streets of San Diego, which is really actually a nice city. And many of the buildings, including this one you're looking at, do have surveillance cameras. Detectives are hoping that some uh, a video of, from one of these buildings will help give them a good look at the attacker. Live in the gas lamp, Jeff Lasky, 10 News. Yeah, let's hope so. Thank you, Jeff.